Welcome to csstudents.com, a learning portal for company secretary students. Presentation on Entrenchment Provisions in the Articles of Association under the Companies Act, 2013. The Companies Act, 2013 introduced various new concepts in the Indian corporate legal system. One of those new concepts is entrenchment provisions in the articles of any company. Before we start the discussion on entrenchment provisions, let's understand what are articles of association for a company. With the perspective of a company, memorandum and articles of association are two basic documents. Memorandum is the supreme document of the company. It contains the name of the company, state where company's registered office is situated, main objects of the company, authorized share capital and whether members liability is limited or not. A company can never function outside the provisions of the memorandum. However, articles of association are a bit different. Articles deal with the internal regulations for the company. As, any company is an incorporated body. There should be some rules and regulations for the management and affairs of the company. Articles contain these regulations. Articles provide the rules to govern the relationships between the members and the company. The powers of directors, officers and the shareholders as to voting etc. How the business and affairs of the company should be conducted. Section 5 of the Companies Act deals with the Articles of Association. Subsection 1 of Section 5 provides that the articles of the company shall contain the regulations for the management of the company. Subsection 2 of Section 5 provides that the articles of any company shall also contain such matters as may be prescribed. Different model articles have been provided under Schedule 1 of the Companies Act for different type of companies. Any company is free to add any additional matter in its articles. Articles are public documents and filed with the Registrar of Companies at the time of incorporation. Articles can be amended any time with the special resolution passed by the members. Special resolution means any resolution which is passed with at least three-fourth majority of members. Any subsequent amendments in the articles shall also be filed with the registrar. So now we know that the articles provide for the internal regulations of companies' management and affairs. Subject to the Companies Act, articles provide the powers of members, power of directors and other officers. Barring the provisions required under the Companies Act, the company is free to put any additional provisions in the articles. The provisions should be for internal regulations of its management and affairs. Under the new Companies Act, legal provisions relating to articles are somewhat same as was under Old Companies Act 1956. Except, the new concept of entrenchment provisions have been added. Before we go in the legal provisions under the new Act, let's understand the meaning of entrenchment provisions. The origin of word entrenchment is from word entrench, which means to place someone or something in a very strong position that cannot easily be changed. Or to say, to fix firmly, means entrenchment provisions are those provisions which put articles in a very strong position that the articles cannot easily be changed. But, as we discussed earlier, the articles can be changed with the special resolution passed by the members. Special resolution means the resolution passed with three-fourth majority. In other words, if in any general meeting where amendment in articles are proposed, majority of three-fourth members present can pass the special resolution to amend the articles. Then, how entrenchment provisions are different. Subsection 3 of Section 5 of the Act provides that the articles of any company may contain provisions for entrenchment. The effect of those entrenchment provisions in the articles would be any specific provision of the articles may be altered only if the conditions or the procedures which is more restrictive than the special resolution are met.
or complied. Let's take an example. XY Ventures is a private equity fund. And this private equity fund subscribes to 10% of the equity share capital of ABC Private Limited. As per the terms of the agreement executed for this subscription, ABC Private Limited cannot do certain transactions without the prior consent of XY Ventures. And those transactions are any issue of shares, creation of any new subsidiaries, borrowing of more than specified limit. In real life also, these rights are generally given to any private equity investors to enable them to have some kind of control over the affairs of the company. We call these rights as affirmative rights. And as these affirmative rights are part of the contract between the company and its member, they are also included in the articles of ABC Private Limited to have the binding effect under the Companies Act. Once these affirmative rights have been included in the articles, they become public knowledge as any amendment in the articles is filed with the registrar. So, what is the impact if outsiders are knowing about these affirmative rights? Tomorrow, if ABC Private Limited approaches any banker for loan from the articles, that banker would have the knowledge that ABC Private Limited needs to take the consent of XY Ventures before taking any loan exceeding the specified limit. And that banker would ask ABC Private Limited to approach XY Ventures to take the consent. So through the affirmative, XY Ventures can control the borrowing of ABC Private Limited. But there is a problem on this control. XY Ventures only holds 10% of ABC Private Limited. If after the investment, other shareholders of ABC Private Limited amend the articles and remove the affirmative rights, then XY Ventures will not be able to have the control over the affairs of the company. Entrenchment provisions would help XY Ventures in this case. While making the investment, XY Ventures should ask ABC Private Limited to include entrenchment provisions in its articles. These entrenchment provisions would provide that any amendment in the affirmative rights mentioned in the articles could only be done if the consent of XY Ventures has been obtained. So in that case, even if other 90% shareholders of ABC Private Limited desire to remove the affirmative rights from the articles, they cannot. Because, the articles already have the entrenchment provision, which restricts the other shareholder to remove or change the affirmative rights contained in the articles without the consent of XY Ventures. So even if 90% shareholder wanted to change the articles, the company will have to take the consent of XY Ventures, which shall be at the discretion of XY Ventures. Same applies in case of joint ventures also. In case of joint ventures, one of the party holding minority stake cannot stop the special resolution for amending the articles. But, if the entrenchment provisions under the articles make minority holders consent mandatory for amendment in the articles, majority cannot control the amendment. Regulatory Provisions Let's discuss the regulatory aspects of entrenchment provisions. The Companies Act 2013 provides the enabling provisions to add the entrenchment provisions in the articles. Subsection 3 of Section 5 is on the screen. Subsection 3. The articles may contain provisions for entrenchment, to the effect that, specified provisions of the articles, may be altered, only if conditions or procedures, as that are more restrictive, than those applicable in the case of a special resolution, are met or complied with. So subsection 3 enables that, the articles may contain provisions for entrenchment. Entrenchment would provide that, specified provisions in the articles may be altered, only if conditions or procedures, that are more restrictive than special resolution, are met or complied with. So to understand better, 
generally, a company can change its articles by special resolution. However, if the articles have entrenchment provisions in them, then those articles may be amended, or even repealed, only if the conditions or procedures, as per entrenchment provisions, are met or complied with. Entrenchment provision should provide for more restrictive provisions or conditions, than a special resolution. Entrenchment provision can provide, that certain, or all the provisions of the articles, could be amended only if consent is granted by some particular shareholder, or with the approval of all the shareholder, or if 90% shareholder positively vote in the meeting etc. Although, the Companies Act, doesn't specify any condition per se. But the Act provides that, the entrenchment provision, should have more restrictive condition or procedure, than the special resolution. How to add entrenchment provision in the Articles? As per subsection 4 of section 5 of the Act, entrenchment provisions can be added in the Articles, at the time of incorporation of new companies. For existing companies, entrenchment provisions can be added subsequently with the amendment in the Articles. For any existing private company, entrenchment provisions could be added, if agreed by all the members. For public companies, entrenchment provisions can be added, if approved by the special resolution. Regulatory Filings as per subsection 5 of section 5, where the articles contain provisions for entrenchment, whether at the time of incorporation or subsequently, intimation to the registrar shall be made in the prescribed form. Rule 10 of the incorporation rules provides for the form. As per Rule 10, if provisions for entrenchment are getting included at the time of incorporation, Intimation of entrenchment provisions, shall be made, in Form INC2, for one-person companies. Form INC2 is the incorporation application for one-person companies, and this form includes the place, where intimation of entrenchment provisions can be provided. Form INC7 is for incorporation of other companies. Form INC7 also includes the place, where intimation of entrenchment provisions, can be provided. For any existing company, which is adding the provisions for entrenchment, in its articles. Form MGT14 shall be filed with the Registrar of Companies, as intimation. Conclusion Enabling entrenchment provisions, in the articles, is a positive move for joint ventures and private equity investors. These provisions, would provide the strong footing, to minority investors, to have a say in the strategic matters, of the company. Affirmative rights given to any party, or to any investor, under the articles, would have stronger enforcement. However, these enabling provisions, are absolutely new to India and enforcement is yet to be seen. It would be interesting to see, how the Indian courts, interpret these provisions. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching. For more study support material, please visit csstudents.com.